What is up? Welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Liquor Sipper. My name is Brenner. Thanks for jumping in today. Today we're going to be doing a review over this bottle of Knob Creek 9 year 120 proof. Not to be confused with this 9 year regular old Knob Creek Ducky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay, so don't get them confused. I will put them side by side. Alright, so there is no confusion. If you guys are interested in finding out if this is a sipper or a skipper, then stay tuned and let's go. Okay, so this particular Knob Creek 9 year 120 proof comes from Beam Centauri. It is in the fashion of straight bourbon whiskey. The distillery is Jim Beam itself, and Jim Beam is awesome. I really enjoy Jim, Jim Beam, especially some of the products that they have. So I'm a really big fan of Knob Creek. I've been a big fan of Knob Creek since the very beginning. If you like the knob, then jump on my knob, all right? Lick my knob off. Oh, flick my knob. All right, so I, I really do. I enjoy Knob Creek. It's, it's been a staple for me. It's been something that I consistently will always have on my shelf, in which I encourage you guys to do the same. They produce Booker's, they produce Basil Hayden's, they produce Little Book, and obviously, like I just said, they produce uh, Knob Creek. Now, this Knob Creek right here, again, it's not to be confused with the other Knob Creek 9-year, which is why I have it up here, just so you guys can see the difference. Let me slide that little guy over. Over there. Uh, so this mash bill is a uh, consists of excuse me this mash bill consists of 77% corn, 13% rye, and then 10% malted barley. Um, the color is very dark, deep, and amber. So for you guys and gals out there that love the darker um, darker colors as my wife does, then you may be someone that's going to enjoy this. The MSRP can range. Um, for the price point of what you're getting for this particular um, single barrel, you're getting basically a near cask strength at this rate. And the bottles that come in at this high of a proof will normally be something more significant. So you're looking between a $50 to $60 bottle here. And some bottles that are up in 120 proofs could potentially be all the way up to uh, $80 to $90. So um, we're going to find out if it's a good bargain or not. Like I said, they're uh, barely distinguishable from one another. One is 100 proof, one is 120 proof. This has more of a beige label. This is a black label. They both indicate nine years. Um, so don't get them confused. At a later date, I'm probably going to see how uh, the 100 proof stacks up against the 120 proof as far as the flavor profile is concerned. As we already know, that 120 proof is definitely going to fuck you up a little bit faster. All right, so um, one thing I really like about Knob Creek is this right here. It's so sexy. Oh my God, that's a tight one. All right, so let's pour a little bit of this in there. And we're just gonna get quick and straight to it. We're gonna do a quicker review tonight, this evening. Here we go, so you guys can see the lice, nice lice. Oh, you like the lice, the lice, the fried rice, the fried lice, okay. All right, so swish of the swash and the swash of the swooshy. You always know what time it is. When it gets to the top of the time it is, you know what time it is. It is nosing for newbies. All right, my most favorite infamous part right here, right now. Right here, right now. Remember that song? All right, this smells like uh, gynecologist what? It smells like a gynecologist's three times used latex gloves on three different people. Also smells like the inside of Indiana Jones's hat back from the 1980s. Uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark maybe. Um, it also smells like mildewed carpet mixed with MC Hammer pants. And last some uh, little bit of subtle hints of the uh, barnyard in Mexico City where they host the infamous donkey shows. Yeah, so for those of you out there that have uh, been out there, that might be a familiar smell. Might bring back some nostalgic memories of all right, let's just follow your nose. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on here? What's the real nose, guys? Do you guys know out there? If you don't, it is 
very sweet smelling, very uh, brown sugary. Smells like I walked into the kitchen where they were baking pumpkin pie or something like that. Uh, there's some uh, brown sugary caramel, caramel with some maybe some apple pie and toffee that's uh, rolled throughout that nice sensual crust. It's a little bit of the spice that hits the nose. Sometimes, just so you guys know as well, it helps to um, gather the scent or the smell when you're doing the nosing if you breathe through your mouth and your nose at the same time. I know that sounds weird. If you guys have never tried that before, it actually helps open up the flavors a little bit. You can nearly taste that on your palate. But that being said, let's go ahead and go to the palate and see how true it is. All right, the apple and cinnamon is super there on this. See, this is why I love Knob Creek. I don't think I've ever, on any one of these bottles, bottles ever done a review on, and that battery just went out. Man, all right, I, I don't think I've ever um, not liked anything from Knob Creek, to be honest with you guys. Um, the first sip, may come across harsh for those of you that are not warmed up. By warmed up, I mean warmed up in the fashion of you need to drink something that may come in at about 100 proof to 110 proof first. Um, that's up to you. Uh, it just, it helps to wake up the palate. You don't want to jump straight from nothing or drinking like a Coke or even just plain old water to jump in straight into a 120 proof. Um, whenever you're trying to actually um, get a full taste or flavor profile from something, um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't behoove you to do so. You're going to have a, a tough time trying to calculate all the different flavors. Um, there is definitely some caramel there, but um, this definitely has the more stronger remnants of. Uh, so I, initially, I think I said a uh, pumpkin pie, but now I feel like it's more like an apple pie with a little bit of that the apple crust in there um, and some, some of the cinnamon that comes with that. Um, I feel like this is a super nice turkey day whiskey. If you guys are looking for something that uh, uh, that really, I guess, meets the uh, the mood or the vibe for whiskey and turkey. Ooh, see, sounds good together, right? Whiskey, turkey, and a pie. It feels like warm apple pie. Come on, apple pie generation guys, American pie, let's go guys. All right guys, um, is this a sipper or a skipper? You have to already know, just by the simple uh, notes that I've already told you. I don't think I've met anybody that doesn't like apples or apple cinnamon, apple cinnamon Cheerios. Yeah, I think this is a lovely 120 proof. It does not come across as 120 proof. It's very smooth. Um, it's it's an elegant. It's a nice, full, buttery mouthful. It's not. It does not come across light. So if you're looking for the thickness, um, you're gonna have that. And then on the back end, it's not a long. Uh, it's not a long, lingering taste. But you definitely get. Um, it's a mid tier. So it's the middle profile, and it does make you want to come back for more. And if you can't tell, my mouth is watering because I actually want to sip more. So I will finish this glass off after. I uh, get off the air because we're live. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate you jumping into my whiskey proof news today and doing my reviews with no other than Mr. Liquor Sipper. Thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, cheers and keep on sipping.